Well, I thought, uh, you know, Casey Murphy gave us what we wanted. He, you know, he gave us, I don't know, five or six innings, but but he didn't walk anybody, um, you know, three or four strikeouts, but, uh, you know, got us off to a good start, throwing the ball over the plate. And, you know, I think on the other side of it, you know, we, we walked a few times in that third inning and, you know, had a couple things go our way, hit a couple balls hard. We had a nice hit and run by Carson Shaddy and got it first and third. And then things went crazy after that on that play where they threw it around a little bit. But, uh, you know, overall, I, I thought we played solid baseball. We didn't make any mistakes in the field. Murphy showed that he could catch pop up on the mound. I was really impressed with that. But, uh, you know, hey, you got to like the kid's confidence. I mean, he felt like it was his ball and. You know, he made the call, so we went with it. But, uh, you know, it was a good win for us. And, uh, you know, we'll go at it again tomorrow. Dave, what can you say Casey's attitude? And that, you know, he could probably be a weekend start for you guys, but he accepts his midweek role. Well, you know, his attitude's been good. You know, we told him at the beginning of the year that he would pitch some on Tuesdays and – you know, maybe out of the pen on the weekend and uh, maybe start some on the weekend. And, you know, he said, hey, whatever, you know, I just want to win. And that's that's what you, that's what we want. And, you know, we knew that our midweek schedule was tough and, uh, you know, we'd probably mix it up a little bit and experiment, try to get some of these young guys some time and hopefully it'll all round itself into shape and we can keep winning some games and, uh you know, it'll pay off in the end. Gates getting okay. He just kind of rode in the hot bat. No, Gates. Gates hamstrings bothering him a little bit. Um, he he could have hit. Running's a, you know not not great right now. So uh, rest him. You know, probably again tomorrow and Thursday and see if he's ready to go. Uh, but McFarland's you know swinging it pretty well for us, obviously. And uh, um, you know, so that'll. You know, we'll just see it. We'll just see how it goes. We won't rush him back if he's not ready. Could uh, Murphy pitch start against Kentucky? So. You know, Murphy Murphy would definitely be ready to go by Sunday, but I don't know if it'll be in a starting role. Um, you know, I would say probably more of out of the pen. They've got they've got some pretty good left-handed hitters too. So, but uh, that was kind of our plan, and maybe have him available for Sunday. I call that some good at bats. Yeah, I thought I thought Eric had a really nice night. I mean, he lined out deep to left, went went with that pitch, and then got you know hit a couple other hit a line drive to center. I guess he had a couple doubles down the right field line, and um, you know he was he was definitely a force today. Keith McMorland um, apparently said on their radio broadcast he'd never seen a ball hit like Martin's. That yeah, drifted back in and hit up the foul pole. How well, it was hit so high, um, and the wind was out of the northwest. As you know, I'm part weatherman, and uh, but the, you know when the wind blows like that, balls are going to come back. I mean, we work, we talk about it in practice all the time, and it, it's not blowing that hard on the field, but you get you know seven or eight miles an hour, and it brought it back just a little bit, and uh, it clipped the foul pole. It was pretty amazing. I haven't seen one like that. Um, you know, it, it it caught it on the way down which is kind of unusual. Usually it catches it hooking or, you know, going out or on the line. But that, that ball clipped the foul pole on the way down as it was pushed back probably five feet. So pretty amazing. Obviously, that that kind of that changed the game a little bit there. You know, they were at the time, you know, it was seven to two and uh, you know, or seven to th maybe maybe we already had eight and that that punched in three. And, you know, that was uh, that was end up being a big swing. Yeah, you talking about Murphy? Yeah. yeah, he made a really nice play on a ground ball hit hard back at him. He's a good defender, one of our better fielding pitchers, and uh, he kind of showed that tonight. On Sunday, McFarland had the grand slam, and tonight he had the single with the man in second and the bases clear double. I mean, what can you say to? Well, I think he's really confident, you know, obviously. And, I mean, he's a guy that we've been just waiting for him, you know. Is, when are you going to take your batting practice to the game? And, uh, you know, the last couple of days he's definitely done it. You know, even the the inning we scored seven runs, he led that inning off with a walk. And, uh, you know, and that's how, how things get rolling. Good night at the plate, good night at the mound. How do you keep this momentum going into tomorrow? 
Well, you know, I think I don't know why we wouldn't. You know, I, I think that we're going to come out and play hard. They're going to they're going to throw a good pitcher at us tomorrow. He started Thursday against Stanford, and I know we went, when he went out of the game, they were up four to nothing. I think he threw four innings for him last Thursday. So, uh, you know, we've got our hands full there. We're going to kind of mix and match. We're not even sure who we're going to start yet. We're going to talk about it. And when I say mix and match, we're probably we may throw five or six guys tomorrow, and just. Uh, you know, go go with that. Is Rutledge an option tomorrow? No, he he's probably not going to pitch for a little bit. He's had a little bit of soreness. We're giving him a little bit of time. We may give him to the weekend or through the weekend. We're not sure yet. He he should definitely be ready by the time we go to Charlotte. Coach, how do you think your players? Uh, how excited they were playing a big name team like Texas? Well, I think they're excited. I've been excited when we played USC and. Honestly, I think they were excited on Sunday to play Kent State after the way they put it on us that second game of that doubleheader. I, I think it now it just seems like everybody we play is pretty good and you know got a pretty good name or have done something. And uh, you know, I mean, they were excited though. You know, it's uh, it's it's kind of the way it is. You know, when you're playing teams that you know that have a lot of tradition and had success in the past and. Uh, you know, from a big conference, so I'm glad they came out with a little attitude. Anyone else? Okay. Okay.